Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play some more GTA 4. <laughs> and I, I'm surprised he actually has some strange expressions, like when he, after he jumped there, he's very upset and angry, Nico. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like to mess around with those kind of things. And yeah, I'm, I'm back in this game again, as always. You guys never notice any uh, type of. Uh, delay in when the videos come out, but of course I always only play every once in a while. So, it's always a new experience and a new day when you're standing in the middle of these guys. Hey, do you, do you want to have uh, some more fun times? Oh, or they... <laughs> I just pull out a gun they're just like, okay, well, uh, I gotta go somewhere. I, I, have, uh, I have some kids that I have to attend to and, uh, yeah. Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Ah! And, yeah. Anyway, I, I was uh, looking at these missions. I have two that are currently open. There is uh, the Jerry one, and uh, Ray. I think I have, like, according to the thing there, it's, I think I actually have, like, four missions left, or, like, three or four left with Jerry. And, like, two or two to four left with Ray. I think I should probably do the Jerry ones first, because that doesn't progress the story exactly in a very large way. And, hey taxis, any one of you and every one of you, please stop. And still, I don't want to actually get... Because if I do the Ray ones, then, you know, I'm going to unlock a ton more missions. I'm just going to get swamped with ju just people going, ah, please do something with me. It's just like real life. I just noticed I don't actually have full health either. Oh well, I could probably do this penitentiary thing. Hello, Mr. Copper. How's it going? Oh, well, I'll do more than just test you. Well, I wonder if this guy will actually get upset if I just, like, show my fists at him. I'm very angry. I'll... I'll kick the air. Oh no, I actually kicked him. I didn't mean to. Oh no! I'm gonna die. I need to turn up my volume a ton too. There we go. So that was really quiet. So if nothing else, that was a good test. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? You okay, kid? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to, like, see what his voice sounded like and so on. Jerry's the one that looks strange. And why is it... Is this, like, a truck that I need to take or what? Your brother told me to call you. Jerry wants probably because I, I was scaring them. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get on Oh, I know this mission. Yes. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't so we're going to California now or what? Place, Play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's gotta be with my ma. I'm, I'm going even more extreme on the really annoying teabag for, like, the people in front of me now. This guy just doesn't even care at all. Oh, yeah, maybe he does. Oh, no! Yeah, well, I'm gonna just ta steal your car, then, because I, I think that this is a ballistic compact. It sort of looks like one. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wasn't entirely sure because sometimes when I grab one of these, it sort of looks like a ruiner in a way, but ruiners are more, uh, not squared off as much as this. Alright, but... Yeah, essentially... Wait, what am I supposed to even do in this mission? Go to a computer terminal. Oh, uh, okay, uh, I'll try to... Where is the closest one? Uh, right up there, I can do that. Also, that's actually fairly close to where, uh, Gracie... Or Grace lives. I'm not too sure if that's her name. It was something like that. It starts with a G and it ends with an E. Um, I'm not too sure if it's the same name as the elephant from... No, it's not an elephant. It was uh, a giraffe. I don't know if it's the same name as a giraffe from Animal Crossing that sells clothing. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, you people out there. It, it's a pretty uh, fashionable giraffe, though. She knows what she's doing. And there was... No, nah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> there was a, a bit of a horror back there, but... I mean... 
I could take that to get my health back, or I could go to a, like a food place. Which, unfortunately enough, Elderney doesn't have very many food areas, it seems like. Oh no, I have to check my map. Can I can I check my map while doing this? Oh man, this is dangerous. It's just like texting and driving, but like to the extreme of just looking looking behind me, not even anywhere near the screen. Okay, just take one second here. Yeah, there's like no food places on Alderney, other than like uh, at the very northern peak of this island, which sucks. That's one thing that I hope is in like that they fix for GTA 5. Then <laughs> more food places, please. Uh, oh wow, I have a bunch of emails. Uh, wait, link to sales advert. Um, <laughs> do I go to uh, odd autoeroticar.com? Yeah, I think this is the right one because like they always uh, have the link that you need to go to like right on the front page. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a pretty nice car too. I mean, it's pink. It's like hot. Well, I don't know if you'd call that hot pink because hot pink is usually a bit brighter than that. And you know what I do for my uh, colors? I, I know my colors pretty well. But can't I just... Wait a second. That's actually a cheat. <laughs> I think that is the cheat. Because that's... Isn't that C-A? No, wait. No, that's not it. Because that, that should be car to be able to do the cheat. So you have to just put in uh, car instead of that, and then you do the, that, and I think that's a cheat. I'm not too sure, but... Oh wait, no, you can't do that anyway, because a Banshee isn't a cheat. What am I thinking of? I'm an idiot. There's only Trismo as a cheat, and also, like, uh, there's a Comet in here, but no. I hope I didn't have to actually remember that. Oh, okay, that's that's it. Sure. So do I phone her now? And go... No, not Mallory. Um, Call the target between 8 and... To 21. Okay, um... Mob Daughter. That's that's the name. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is still Gracie. Or Grace. And then she's like... The, the mission with her just like to... Uh, wait, what time is it actually? I, it, um... Yeah, that's... I need to wait a few hours. So in the meantime... I'll, I'll just drive up to the top of this island and get some food. Some delicious, delicious hamburgers. It's, uh, that's what all people dream of when they're they're sick in the hospital and they want to get healthy. They they decide like, oh man, if I, if only they, these hospitals actually had proper hamburgers and hot dogs and like random assortment of nuts, then I could pot I could potentially be healthy right here and now. But since they don't do that, I have to sit in the hospital for many, many months and wait it out and hope that they can actually give me the right care that I deserve. But there's actually a random ped mission that I'm going to actually do here. Um, hey, hey, hey guys. Who is this guy? Oh, this better not be the guy that I, I don't want to actually be anywhere near. Um, hey. This might be the insane guy. Hey. Oh yes, this is the insane guy. Nothing. Just trying to make conversation. Just Yeah, and also the, the this guy only appears at night. I'm pretty sure. Hey friend, this this bag is off. You mind taking us down to the docks? Oh sure. Uh how close are we to Yeah, we're pretty close to Burger Shot. I'm gonna go and grab myself a burger first. So uh yeah, you can go screw yourself with your uh bag of heads. Or whatever you have. I can't believe I help a murderer. Joke? Eddie never jokes. Eddie needs to be taken seriously. They laughed at him once, but you can't laugh without a tongue. You can't point if you haven't got fingers, can you? That's yeah, because this is the... I think this is like the Midnight Jogger, like, killer, whatever they call it. I don't remember his name. But it's in the news everywhere in Liberty City. If you ever pay attention to the news and, like, uh... Weasel News. Am I... Yeah, I'm like right near the burger shot, I think. It's Somewhere around here. No, I think I went too far. Well... <laughs> well, that's the problem when you walk around at night. You crazy bastard. 
bullshit. <laughs> At least now that I'm inside the burger shot, he won't talk to me. This guy still freaks me out, man. I don't like him. Cause he is as a crazed psychopath, and he's just standing there behind me. He's probably yeah. like, he has his knife probably on him right now too. I don't know where he's hiding his knife, but I I just, I just don't even want to know. You know how these creeps do things. But yeah, it's time to go. Ballista compact away. Although like. You know how I, he is a psychopath, but then again, I do like to run over old ladies. So, what? What I like to do the driving Miss Daisy thing. Isn't that? Isn't that the way that uh, thing is supposed to go? Driving Miss Daisy is all about killing her, or maybe that's just like the parody. I don't remember, but this is like that. Uh, Gracie's apartment is like right here. I'm pretty sure. I I remember this game way too well. Maybe that's a good thing though, so I don't I don't know if I could actually say too well. Cause you can never be too good at something. Unless you're the best and you have a monopoly over everything because you're so good. You're, I'm so good I have a monopoly. Yay! Uh oh man! I think I just landed on top of that vehicle. <laughs> Woo! And, oh, I missed. That woman's very lucky. And so is the security guard, because I almost hit him. Then again, I might need to, like, get the heat off me if I was going to be doing this mission. Wait here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. I really... Just get a, get over... Just get it done, and... Be done. Get with crazy it. psychopath. Yeah, well, people are definitely narrow-minded when you have, uh... When you're a serial killer and you're dropping, like, pieces of people's bodies into the ocean. Oh, man. Why? Also, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's what it is. I think that this guy's also... I think he's just a pedophile as well. I think that might be another thing. See, this is also another reason why I don't like to do the random ped missions, because then I encounter this guy. And I'm pretty sure this guy's killed me a couple times before. Because, oh man. At least he doesn't care uh, if I have cops chasing me. I don't know if he's really so smart, but I don't know. He also sort of reminds me of Gollum in a way. Eddie's off the hunt for a nice boy. Oh, why? Nico should know that this is a bad thing to be doing. And was it? Oh, no, I think it's, I have to still wait another t couple of hours. So, um... See, to do a mission in the meantime, yeah, I might as well. Oh! Ah, crap. <laughs> is there anybody with a good vehicle around here? Wait, it actually started without me doing a... A phone call. Oh, come on. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Hey, Mallory. I just want that ballistic compact that's over there. Off in the distance. Although it might actually be... Oh, there we go. That guy was actually pretty good. He stopped when it was a yellow light. Most people like me, I would just drive through it. Well, I'm talking about, you know, real life and so on, but... But still, maybe it's because of, like, Nico is kind of, like... He does a whole lot of horrible things to begin with that he just like, he's kind of slides on when people are really, really horrible people like that one uh, Eddie guy. Because, you know, it happens. Oh man, I'm going to slide through that, aren't I? I'm too used to like the Ballad of Gay Tony now. Just because I may or may not have been doing some of the multiplayer of that recently and the roads in that are different. Also, the roads are difficult to understand where you are when you have this much fog. I, I have issues like that. I don't know why, but like whenever there's fog in this sense, I don't know where I am. And when I don't know where I am, bad things happen. But hey, at least I have the, a bit of the map going with Ray. Get down here, Ray. Uh, 
Uh, oh. My face is not going to ever be the same. I might need to get some plastic surgery after that one. Ow. Oh, this is museum piece? Oh, this is... This might not be the best mission to be doing right as of now. Yeah, yeah, the pink thing with the little feathers on the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> that's always, uh... That's, that's worth just to... Listening to the mission just for that, a little bit. Okay, so I have to go get meet Johnny. Oh! This is a fairly decent vehicle, in a way. Get back here! Stop! In the name of love and all good things. Please. I think this is, uh... I don't remember- I always forget the name of it. It's like a Sultan or something like that? I don't know. Uh, man, I'm bad at aiming. Oh no. Uh, this- This guy's not very friendly. Yeah, Sentinel. Yeah. That's what it's called. I don't remember what I just called it, because... That guy that, uh, was clearly from the Matrix... Um, although he was, uh, using a gun instead of his fists... He, uh, was a little bit upset with me. And that kinda freaked me out a bit. No, Mr. Smith, or whatever your name is. Please don't hurt me. Oh, I'm turning left right now. Oh, this is... I... Which... I'm get, missing up the road. Screw you, GPS. I just want to go, like, on the wrong side of the road just so I can get some delicious chicken or this, uh, thing here. Which is a hot dog. Yes, give me your delicious hot dogs. And then maybe I won't give you a bullet to the head if you do this quickly enough. Yes. And I love that, like, Nico, he also uh, just, like, kind of absorbs the hot dog if you go fast enough. Because who needs to eat when you can just go, it's all gone. You just, it's, more so, it's more so just, like, inhaling it. But anyway, yes. Sentinels, they're, they're pretty good vehicles. Um... I was trying to, like, get to the front. I, I, for some reason, I forgot the controls for a second there. Which is kind of sad. Which is another thing I really hope that they have in GTA V. The same controls as, like, every other game that Rockstar makes nowadays. Because Rockstar puts always the controls the same. I haven't actually played uh, L.A. Noir though. That's, that's one that I should actually check to see if the controls are the same. And so on. Because Also, L.A. Noir, that would probably be a pretty fun game. I mean, it's, it's, it's good to be a cop every once in a while. Uh, like, uh, Lego City Undercover. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, the cops won't be able to chase me when I do this. Just gonna get out of my vehicle and, uh... Whoa, oh no. My mic is... My mic is going crazy right now. That's not good. Uh, my mic may or may not have actually just fallen out of position. Um, I might need to fix this. Um, just wait a while. Um... <laughs> Oh man, why? Why does this have to happen? While recording, nonetheless. This is Bolshevik Roman. Okay, I clearly need to get a new mic if I, this ever happens while recording that I need to just like do emergency repairs to it. And like re-tape it up. But at least, well maybe it's like a hockey stick that every once in a while you just need to fix your tape on it and then uh, you just get right to, back in the action. I don't know. But hey, it's time to do things. Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we should actually be floor, saying yeah? that he, it's good to see him again when uh, he clearly kidnapped Roman. You guy that works for Baldgren. Oh, yeah. That's... I forgot about this. That, um... They just instantly put me into uh, a firing range because that all that whole cutscene just like disappears right from uh, my eyes when I do that so if anybody wants to know what happened in that cutscene of course we were doing the diamond exchange and um, of course what has to happen is that out of nowhere uh, Luis Lopez from the Ballad of Gay Tony uh, he just appears out of nowhere and uh, you know, pops in this... I don't think it's this window. I think it's a different window. I think it's like, yeah, it's that window over there. Where there's the dead bodies. Uh, he appears out of nowhere and just, like, starts shooting and, like, tries to take the diamonds. Or maybe he actually does take the diamonds. No, I don't think he does. Who instead takes the diamonds is, um... 
what you, what you call it, like Johnny, I think, takes it. Because he has... He has the power! Apparently. And then, out of nowhere, there's all these guys from every single mob imaginable. Okay, who's shooting me? Seriously. Who is shooting me? Oh, there's a guy right next to me. Okay. That's a problem with having uh, audio delay. So that you cannot actually hear things properly and just like... Is there a person near me? I, I'm not too sure. I have really good audio, but I can't hear, like, on time. Oh well, let's let's do it again. No, screw you, Packy. Hey, Packy, I had other stuff to do. I'll get on it, all right? I'll speak to you soon. A what? Okay, um, whatever. I really don't care about your problems, Packy. About your grieving mother. About everybody dying in your family. You know what? I'm dying in my family as well, so I can... I need to, all the help I can get. And Is there a taxi around here, please? Taxi! Oh, there he is. Taxi, taxi, taxi. Please, I don't want to drive. It would save me a great deal of time. And potentially money. No. No, you don't. No, you don't, you taxi. I don't care about all you businessmen around here. That still pretend that they're from the Matrix, but I'm gonna go to my destination. Yes. Cabby! Now, I don't know if I should actually bother with actually showing any of the cutscene as well this time, but no, I don't think I have. But yeah, Lewis Lopez jumps out of nowhere, everybody goes crazy. The diamond scene, it's so famous. And it's famous for me not ever doing it properly. I don't know. I think I fail it no matter which uh, faction. If you can call it that, hey, then I'm four. Right, How's it going? Cause even hey. if I'm if I'm Johnny, I think I still fail it. I think maybe I just barely made it alive when I was being Johnny the last time I was, and then when I was Luis Lopez, I I think I just barely made it as well. But that was, uh, oh come on, Nico. Nico was just freaking out for a second there. Luckily enough, this thing has a really good range on this gun. There we go. Because I can just, like, headshot people off in the distance. And do this as well. Come on. You know what? It's, it's time for more grenades. Grenades, ahoy! Have fun in your deaths! Oh, you can't escape my uh, grenades. Yeah! <laughs> I wonder if that guy's gonna get hit from that. Yeah, I was hoping so. If he's dumb enough just to stand in the way. Did you just say, like, it's time to pay the piper? As in, like, the pie paper? Am I gonna be uh, chasing around little animals? Or leading animals, that is? So I can, I can do that. Pretend that I'm wearing the... Is it, like, the Brayman mask or something like that? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, from Majora's Mask, where you have your... Your... You, you, cha you make the little cuckoos follow you. Little cuckoo chicks. And they, uh... You know... That once they follow you for a certain amount of time, there's just like a bunch of them all together, then they, they're all happy, and they, they turn into big chickens. And then the, the guy that's there, uh, he gets happy, and... Well, he gets so happy in, in different ways as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then he... You, you solve their problems, because you're... That's what you do in Majora's Mask. You try to save the world, but you can't, because... Saving the world is just not always an option. But I'd say that uh, I, I'm doing fairly well this time. I, it's better to go on the opposite side, I think. That's what I figured out over many years of trial and error. That I've been playing this since, like, 2009, I think I played it. Because it came out in 2008, but I think I played it, like, a year after. Maybe even 2010, I don't remember. There's so many things that has happened in this uh, amount of time. And, yes, that was necessary to, to break that vase. Because Nico has... A vengeance against all things art. He had some problems in his past where uh, a piece of a vase went and fell on top of uh, his uh, father's head when they were visiting the museum back in Serbia and uh, he died. So that's that's why Nico has a vengeance for them. 
You killed my family, I'll kill you! Ah! Screw you, Art. Yeah, see, that's, that's how he feels. He even had to have a bit of his own dialogue in there. But yes, uh, anyway. It's time to get out of here live, preferably. And where's that guy always come from? He just, like, appears out of nowhere. That, just so then he can be, like, up here and, uh, shooty shooty as well, miss? There we go. Hey, there's body armor down there. I'm going to be saved if I just make it down the stairs. Should we rush it? Let's zerg it. Yeah, I'm gonna zerg it up. Let's zerg it up. Ah! There we go. That wasn't the that wasn't the fastest of zerging, but still, like, where did these guys come from? Did that guy just drop from the ceiling as well, or did we just shoot out the the skeleton or what? But I think that, like, uh, the way that... Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Because this is actually an exit. Because this is the way that Johnny takes, I'm pretty sure. To get out of here. <laughs> so I'm gonna take Johnny's route. Oh, it's locked! You gotta be kidding me! I guess that, that makes sense, because they don't want you to take the easy way out. But Johnny's smart. He's, like, he's the one... I'm pretty sure he's the one with the diamonds. Because Luis Lopez is just an idiot, and he just, like, shoots everybody... And doesn't realize that he probably shouldn't have done it that way, because everybody just freaked out and just, like, ran. And then, like, Johnny's just, like, the smart one. He's just like, I'm just going to escape uh, from the the near side. And then Lewis is an idiot, and he's just like, I am going to, just from my stupid plan to begin with, I'm just going to leave on my golden helicopter that's... It's not very uh, stealthy at all, but that's just the way that... Uh, Mr. Whatchamacallit, I don't remember his name. The Arab money guy, Yusuf Amir, yeah. Mr. Yusuf Amir is just like, he he wanted it that way, so that's the way he got it. And this guy is going to have fun in the way of death, just in a second here. I don't care for just shooting, wasting bullets. Is this guy behind me or in front of me? Oh, it's not one of these again, please no. Oh no, he's right there. I think. No, there's a guy behind me. You know what? If you want to do this, I'm going to do this. Okay, well that... Okay, that should have killed him. Yeah, that's right. Oh, do you want to get up too? We, we can have fun. He's... I think he was still screaming after he was dead. You can never be too sure if they're dead until they're done screaming. So you just gotta keep shooting. I guess. Um, hey, more health. Even though I don't really need health. All I need is more body armor. And more... I don't know if that's even a bad guy off in the distance. I'm just gonna assume it is. Same with you. Somebody running, I'm gonna shoot you. I'm supposed to lose them? Oh, I can do this. This is how I lose people. Actually, no... This is how I lose people. Uh, do, do, do. See, this is the smartest idea. I don't know why I never did this in any of my other playthrough things. Okay, flee the museum. Uh, don't worry. I can do this. I think. Because I mean, I hear the cops coming. Uh, I... I just uh, thought of something else, and uh, I'm not too sure of the noise that that would make. Maybe a bit of... Uh, a r I, I just don't even know. 